13 athletes in this Fifth Avenue mile being introduced to the crowd. And there wearing number one is the new American record holder, personal best of 348.83, the world number three of all time, Sidney Marie, the colored South African who is now resident in the United States. Next to him, the former world mile record holder, John Walker, number four of all time, and the first man ever inside 350 for the mile. Now, less than five runners in this field have broken 350, and now being introduced to the crowd is number seven, Eamon Coughlin, the world record holder for the indoor mile. And he's run now less than 45 sub-four-minute miles. Coughlin, of course, resident now in the United States. The full lineup: number one, Marie, number two, Walker, number three, Mike Boyd of Kenya, number four, Steve Scott, America, number five in the corner of the shop, the youngest man in this race, Steve Cram at 20 from Jarrow. Number six is Dr. Vessinghager from West Germany. Seven is Cochran. Eight, Masbank of America. Nine, Khalifa of the Sudan. Ten is Ray Flynn of Ireland. Eleven, Tom Byers, United States. Thirteen is Vince Ruddy, United States. And fourteen, Ross Donahue of the United States, who's expected to make the pace. This Fifth Avenue mile course, a straight course, rarely run over this distance, of course, straight miles, and it should be very fast because... The first quarter of a mile is downhill, and then they climb towards the half mile mark, and then it's downhill all the way. Fifth Avenue, one of the best known and most glamorous streets in the world. Marie right up there, number one, and pace judgment absolutely vital in this. Cochran alongside him, and number 14, Ross Donahue, who, as expected, is making the early pace. Steve Cram tucked in behind, right there as well as Tom Byers, one of the only two men to beat Obit uh, this season over a mile. About 300 yards gone. Donahue, 14. Marie is number one. Behind Marie is number nine, Khalifa of the Sudan. Tom Byers right there. Steve Cram just bouncing along. And the camber, very, very steep indeed on either side. And they're keeping right down the center of the road where it's flattest. And it sounded like 55 seconds, or 25 seconds rather, the 2.20 time given. And 53.2, this is very, very fast indeed. In fact, it's inside a world record schedule. 53.2 at 440 yards. Still going downhill, but the climb starts shortly. Marie is right there, Donahue there. So too is John Walker. Mike Boyd is in shot. Boyd wearing number three. On the right as we look in, Steve Scott tracking Boyd. Steve Cram tucked in there behind them and moves out to follow by us. Marie, the new American hero, the man of Rito Vet, Henrietti, ranked number three of all time. Beginning to climb, but in fact the climb is not as bad as it looks on the picture. Mike Boyd, twice inside 350 this season, and at 32 finding his best form, but looking a bit anxiously across. Tom Byers, the front runner, hits the front now as they approach the half mile. And in fact they should be through the half mile, 152.8. Still astonishingly fast, and in a moment, they breast the hill and come downhill all the way home. Well, it was said they may break 350. I thought that was ambitious, but it's looking to be possible. Fires in front. Boyd on the right. Marie is there. Steve Scott is there. Steve Cram is there as well. And still Byers leading. Boyd right alongside him. Steve Scott beginning to show and wearing number four. And they're coasting down the hill, trying to save themselves for the final bottle. Boyd's right there. Walker moves up on the outside. Runner of 56 sub four minute miles. No man's run more in history. And that's Walker in the yellow short. Fires fading slightly. Steve Cram still showing. Just approaching now three quarters. And still Walker right there. Cram in the red vest showing all the time. Cram and Walker together on that shot foreshortening is uh, possible so the gap can't be read properly but they're almost physically in sight now Bill Walker right there Cram looking very comfortable Boyd on the far side in the black vest Marie trying to make a run 256 252.6 at three quarters very very fast but uh, it won't be faster probably than the world track record Marie on the far side Cram having a look across and Cram's rolling a little bit and it's Marie who's clear now. Marie, the new American record holder, away and clear. 
a Marie, the colored South African who came to live in this state, comes way right away to win the Fifth Avenue Mile. In second place is Boyd, third is Bessie four is Cram, five is Flynn, in sixth place is Walker, seventh is Scott, eighth is Byers, ninth is Coughlin, in tenth place Donahue, eleventh Khalifa, and in twelfth place was Vince Grady. The pace very, very fast all the way, but there was a slowing down between the half mile and the three quarters. And the time there, in fact, they picked it up in the closing stages, the time now given as the fastest mile ever run by man. Three minutes, 46 seconds. So Marie comes home in front, and that was a storming last quarter he ran. You may have seen the early signs of desperation, first from Boyd and then from Steve Cram, as he looked across at Marie, and Marie sailed away. And the message is quite clear to Steve Ovett and Sebastian Co. that Marie is a genuine threat now to the very top milers. That was a very, very impressive piece of running. But of course, although that's the fastest mile ever run, it will not be ratified because the International Amateur Athletic Federation will not recognize road times. And there the one, two, three confirmed of the Fifth Avenue mile. Sydney Marie is time corrected. It was slower than given at first to 347.52. That's the second fastest mile ever run but slower, of course, than Sebastian Coe's world track record, which is 347.33. Mike Boyd in second place, and Dr. Thomas Bessinghager of West Germany confirmed in third. Steve Graham, by the way, was fourth. 